Hey Leos, welcome to my channel. My name is Sally and this is going to be your love reading from the 20th to 31st of August 2020. This is a general reading. It may not resonate with you. If you want to book a personal reading with me, all the information you will need to do that will be in the description box. So I've already shuffled your cards. Leos, let's begin. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. So Leos, I feel like a lot is changing for you. Things are turning in your favor. When it comes to your love and uh when it comes to your love life and uh and your financial situation i feel like things are changing here with the wheel of fortune when the wheel of fortune is in your situation it means things are changing for good things are changing for good so let's see what's on the tarot we have the six of wands so leos i'm seeing all around victory for you some of you um are having victory in your relationship you're having victory in your financial um situation we have the sun wow leos i see happiness for you uh, a lot of happiness we have the ace of pentacles what did i say some of you are getting it together like you're getting it this time in your love situation you are doing well you are going to be doing well or you are doing well um in your financial situation i see a new beginning for you use in your financial situation we have the uh the knight of wands i feel like some of you um could be um, doing something you are really passionate about or you have met someone that you are you are really passionate about or i feel like the passion between you and someone is um it's only really high this period and i feel like there's a lot of happiness coming your way we have the magic chan leos i feel like your prayers have been heard and answered you're finally getting what you deserve you're finally getting the happiness you truly deserve we have the seven of pentacles i feel like some of you could have been very patient yeah some of you have been through a lot you have really been through a lot you have been very patient with your life you have been very patient with your love life and I feel like you have been very patient with the universe and you have been very patient with God. I feel like now you are you are receiving uh, the reward of your patience. I feel like for some of you have prayed a lot. You have really prayed and prayed and prayed. And I feel like now your prayer is being heard. Like all the prayer you were praying, were, um, all your prayers were being, uh, it was like, um, how do I put this? All the prayers you were praying, it was preparing you for what is coming. I see good things happening for you, Leos. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Queen of Swords. I feel like um, someone you have caught out here, if you have not caught out this person, I feel like uh, there is someone that is feeling like they have lost you here. The Five of Cups. Someone is, feel, is feeling like they have lost you. They feel like you are moving away. This person could be um, a water sign or an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But I feel someone is feeling a sense of loss here. They feel like they have lost you. They feel like they have missed out on an opportunity with you. I feel like this is, if, if this is not someone you have cut out, I feel like this is someone you intend cutting out of your life. This person, they, they are missing you. They are missing you so much. They are missing you. They feel like they have missed out on an opportunity to create something beautiful with you. But yo, I see that uh, in your life presently, you, you are achieving a lot. And when it comes to your love life, I feel like whatever the situation of your love life is right now, you are going to have victory because God has heard your cries and he has heard your prayers. You're moving into um, abundance financially and as well in your love life. Let's clarify to get more insights. Holy Spirit, why is the Six of Wands here for Leo's? Why is the Six of Wands here for Leo, Holy Spirit? Okay. We have the judgment. Yeah, you're moving into a, a next level. You're moving into in the next level. You're coming out of um a place where you feel like nothing is working for you. 
where you feel like you are not being um, loved and appreciated, you're coming out of that um, space and you are coming into a place where you feel satisfied, where you feel loved, where you feel victorious and where you feel appreciated. Mm. I feel like some of you could be meeting your soulmates around this time or you have already met you have already met them. This person could be a Gemini. This person could be a Gemini. Yeah, there's someone feeling like they have lost you here, Leo. There is a feeling you whomever this person is, they are having a sense of loss. This person could be a water sign, it doesn't have to be. But they feel like they can have stability with you. But I feel like on your own end, you're in a very happy place, Leo. Hmm. Holy Spirit, why is the sun here for Leo? What did I say? What did I say? We have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like some of you are not even focused on love, Leo. You're not focused on love. You're focused on growing yourself. You're focused on putting your sheets together. You, you are focused on abundance. Some of you are really focused on your own abundance and your own financial growth. I feel like, um, Leo's, if you are having financial issues, I feel like that is not going to be, um, the problem from the month of August, because I feel like you'll be having idea to create wealth. I know this is a love reading, but I don't know why this reading is going this way. You're going to be having ideas to create abundance, to create wealth. And I feel like you are going to be successful in whatever you do. But I feel like when it comes to your love life, I feel like there is someone here that is feeling like they have missed out on this beautiful opportunity with you. I feel like this is someone that never told you how they felt. But this person do have romantic feelings for you. They love you. Holy Spirit, why is the Ace of Pentacles here for Leo's? Why is the Ace of Pentacles? We have the Queen of Pentacles. I don't even know what to say. The Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. You're moving into stability, Leo. You're moving into stability. You are really moving into um, stability. A very stable place. Emotionally and financially, you're moving into a stable place, Leo's. Hmm. Why is the Knight of Wands here for Leo? We have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like someone that was a player, someone that didn't uh, want something long term with you. This could be an earth sign or an air sign. This person never wanted anything serious with you. I feel like this person is beginning to think long term because they feel like they are losing you. They are beginning to think long term. This person was in the seven, they were operating in the seven of um, sword energy. They were just having fun and having a good time, but I feel like this person is thinking long term. This person, I feel like. There is something that is hurting this person about this connection, this air sign. There's something hurting this person. And I feel like uh, this person is hurting because they feel like they are losing you. They are missing out on um, an opportunity to build something long term with you. And I feel like that is breaking this person's heart. This person is seeing the truth about you and this connection now. Strong air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They are seeing the truth about this connection. They are realizing that you are their soulmate. You are the one they are meant to be with. Why is the magician here? We have the hanged man. I feel like this person, they were blinded by um, the fact that um, they never wanted anything serious. And they were just um, playing around. But now they see the truth of this connection and they want something stable. This person is thinking of sending you some kind of message. But I feel like in a way they are holding themselves back from doing that. They are holding themselves back from doing that. 
Why is the seven of pentacles here? Why is the seven of pentacles here for Leo's? Why is the seven of pentacles here for Leo's? Holy Spirit. Okay, we have the lovers. And the eight of swords. And the devil. Holy Spirit, please clarify these three cards for me. The lovers, the eight of swords, and the devil. Clarify one card. What's going on here? Clarify the lovers, the devil, and the eight of swords. We have the queen of wands. Okay. This person... <laughs> This person is really, really obsessed with you. They are. Whomever this person is. They could be a Capricorn, um, a Gemini. It doesn't have to be. But they are really, really obsessed with you. This person wants to marry you. We have the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. They want to marry you. But I feel like this person is afraid of making that decision. They are scared of making this um, decision. This person could have commitment phobia. <laughs> Queen of Wands, King of Wands. The Hierophant and the Justice. The Strength. This person, they want to marry you, but they don't have that courage. They don't have that courage to make that decision. The Lovers and the Strength here. 8-8. Eight, eight. So I feel like you should check the number 8. It could give you insight on your love life. This person... Their intention is to be with you in a, in a committed relationship. To marry you, to have you as their wife, or to have you as their husband. But I feel like wh whomever here that I'm connecting with, this air sign or earth sign or fire sign, they lack that confidence. They lack that courage to move forward. Let's see, why, why is this person... Lacking that courage and confidence to ask you to marry them or be in a, re a stable relationship with them. Holy Spirit, give me one card. Why is this person lacking that confidence? This person could have a low self-esteem. They feel like they are not good enough for you. Let's see. One card here. We have the debt. Okay. I feel like this person, they feel like they they know that they let's see why is the death and the two of pentacles here this person could have been married before and things didn't work out they didn't get their wish out of that marriage like the marriage didn't turn out the way that they thought it would and I feel like that affected this person's self-esteem and self-confidence. If that is not the case, I feel like this person, they grew up in a very toxic environment. They saw their parents did a lot of awful things to each other. And, it feel, and I feel like that affected how this person see marriage in general. I feel like they grew up in a very... Um, in a very toxic um, environment. And I feel like that affected how they see marriage with the dead. Um, and the family cut here. And the devil. This person grew up in a very toxic environment. That is why they have... Um, they see marriage and commitment in a certain way. If not their environment, if not their background or upbringing that is affecting them, I feel like um, this person was married and it didn't work out uh, the way they wanted or the, the marriage didn't bring them that inner peace that they deserve. And I feel like that left a scar on their soul and it led to this uh, fear of commitment. And I feel like it affected their self-esteem as well. Why is the Five of Cups here for Leo? Why is the Five of Cups here? Why is the Five of Cups here for Leo? Yeah, love life, 20 to 31st. We have the Ace of Cups. They want a new beginning with you. They don't want to lose you. This person don't want to lose you. They want a new beginning with you. 
Why is the Queen of Swords here for Leo's? I f I'm hearing regrets. This person could be regretting something they did to you or something that happened in this connection. Why is the Queen of Swords here for Leo's? Why is the Queen of Swords here? We have the Four of Wands. Okay, I feel like if this person, if you have no idea, please take what resonates. I feel like for some of you, your person is married and you have no idea about it. And I feel like this person, they want to tell you about it. They are thinking about telling you about the fact that they are married or worse married in the past. This person could, they, they are keeping a secret. It's either they are married or they could have been married before. And I feel like they never mentioned that to you. And I feel like this person is thinking about relating that to you, about telling you that. Let's see. Yeah, this person could have been married before. They could have. Why is the Six of sword here? Why is the Six of sword here? We have the king of cups they do love you this person love you the ten of pentacles and they want to be in a stable situation with you they love you very much and they want to be in a stable situation with you they want to they're thinking of making you an offer it could be a proposal they want celebration with you why is the wheel of fortune here yeah i feel like if you're in a conflict with this person there is going to be an end to that conflict there is definitely going to, be, going to be an end. This person is holding on to you. You are not going anywhere, Leo's. This person don't want to lose you. If you think you are leaving this person, if you think you are letting go of this person, then I'm sorry because this person, they are holding on to you tightly. You are not going anywhere. They love you. They want to make an offer with you. They have some um, commitment phobia due to um, family background, where they grew up in, or due to the fact that they were married before and it didn't work out for them. And I feel like things are really um, turning in your favor, Leo. You are having all-round victory. So, Leo, that is all I have for you. If it resonates, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to leave a, uh, a comment to let me know how this resonates. I will see you in my next video. Bye.